This is an introductory video into naming of compounds. We will be naming molecular compounds or covalent compounds in this video. Some facts about molecular compounds. Molecular compounds are formed between nonmetals. The more electropositive element is written first, followed by the more electronegative elements and their names end in ide. Electronegative elements are those elements you find on the right side of the periodic table. Metals are considered electropositive elements and non-metals are considered electronegative elements. Now the difference in electronegativity determines which element is written first. The number of elements present in the formula of a molecular compound should be indicated. In an ionic compound, we do not say the number of atoms that are present, and that is a marked difference between naming of ionic compounds and molecular compounds. The Greek prefixes that we use to indicate the number of atoms is given next. It would be a good idea to learn these prefixes as they come in handy for naming not only molecular compounds but also organic compounds later. If you have a single element, it's called mono. If there are two elements of a kind, we say it's di. If we have three elements, we have tri. Four would be tetra, five would be penta, six would be hexa, seven would be hepta, eight would be octa, nine would be nona, and ten would be deca. So once you have these numbers and names, it's easy to actually name most of the molecular compounds. The first compound that we are going to name is a compound formed between carbon, or rather one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. The first element is carbon. The second element is oxygen. And when you have two oxygen atoms, you have the number di that becomes the prefix to oxygen. But as usual, the non-metal or the second element always has an ending of ide. Therefore, it becomes dioxide. So the final name of this compound will be written as carbon dioxide. The di indicates two. Oxide indicates that oxygen is an electronegative element in comparison to carbon. Let's look at the next example. The two elements that are present are nitrogen and oxygen. The first element being nitrogen, we have two of them, therefore we have di. The name nitrogen does not undergo any change, so we simply say dinitrogen to indicate two nitrogens are present. The second element is oxygen, and we have five of them. Five means penta and oxygen being the more electronegative element or the second element in the formula ends in an ide. So we have penta oxide. Penta ends in A and oxide starts with O. They are both vowels therefore we drop the A of penta and call it pentoxide. So the final name becomes dinitrogen pentoxide. Let's look at the next example. It's a compound formed between phosphorus and oxygen. We have two phosphorus, that indicates diphosphorus, five oxygen, five is penta, and oxygen ends in oxide. So the final name of the compound would be diphosphorus pentoxide.
In the next example, we have one carbon and four chlorines. Four is tetra. Chlorine is a second element. Therefore, the naming changes to ide or tetrachloride. So the final name becomes carbon tetrachloride. Here are some examples for you to practice. At this time, you can pause the video after seeing the examples, write down the answers, and once you're completed naming these compounds, you can continue to watch the video to obtain the correct answers. You have 10 examples here, so you may want to pause the video now. Here are the answers to your examples. Phosphorus pentachloride, the sulfur tetrafluoride, boron trifluoride, silicon tetrachloride, dinitrogen trioxide, oxygen difluoride, phosphorus tribromide, sulfur hexafluoride, carbon monoxide, and dihydrogen monoxide are commonly called water. There are a number of compounds or molecular compounds which we still name using trivial names or the ordinary names. Some examples are methane which is CH4, ammonia which is NH3, and water, which is dihydrogen monoxide. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.